What's going on guys and welcome back. So I was doing some testing and seeing, you know, I've got two cards in this Windows computer that I, you know, test my cards on. And we went through a setup, you know, making an electronium miner on awesome miner. And you know, you saw me mining Ethereum and such. <clears throat> so I was uh I was thinking, I was like, well what if you know, you've got two cards, you got one really strong card, and you got another card that maybe it doesn't really perform well on Ethereum or Fhash, but it might perform really well on like Kryptonite or Equihash. Or maybe you have an NVIDIA card and an AMD card. <clears throat> so I got to messing around with it. And right now I have the two 580s in the system. And I have two different miners running at the same time through awesome miner so I have an electronium miner that's mining on one of them and then I have the ethereum miner that's mining on the other one so you can see I mean they're they're both at actively mining you can see one of the cards is disabled on each one so now I don't have them overclocked right now so it's just like you know standard you know turning on and this is what it's doing so how I got this to work was Whenever we went up here and we set our um, new miner up, I'll put the link in the description below. It shows you how to set up a managed miner. We went through and we selected, you know, the AMD G AMD algorithm, the AMD GPU. We set it as Electronium. We did our Electronium full setup, which will be in a link in the description. So don't worry, you'll be able to refer back to that video to find out how to do it. And basically, you're just going to do that for both of them. You're going to make two managed miners, because that's what you get with awesome miner. You get two miners for free. And then if you want to, you can pay whatever, and then you can get however many you want. So with the two, you know, we set the first one up for Electronium. And then you can set the second one up. You can just have this as a managed profit miner to just mine whatever coin you want to on that video card. So I'll show you how, the, how this works, starting up. So we'll just go ahead and turn them off. We'll start the Electronium one up first. And you'll notice at the top it has, uh, you know, be careful with overclocking. Use default clocks for the first test. Press S for current statistics or 0 through 9 to turn on or off cards. R to reload pools. So you see when we turn it on, it automatically detects both GPUs, right? So we're going to let it load up. Let it get both of our GPUs. Okay, there we go. You see it's detected both of the GPUs. So now on your numpad or, you know, at the numbers at the top, you know, just pick whichever GPU or GPUs that you want to turn off. So let's just say we'll, we'll hit zero. It's going to disable GPU zero, right? So we've disabled D GPU zero. So now we'll just go down to our second miner, click start. We'll bring it down. This is going to load up our Ethereum pool. And we turned off GPU 0 in the last one. So in this one, once it loads up, we're going to turn off GPU 1. GPU 1 is now disabled. So now it's not going to try to pull from the other card that's mining for the Electronium. It's just going to have that one singular card that's not mining anything, and it's going to start mining Ethereum, which is now, you can see, boom. We're mining Ethereum on one card and Electronium on the other. Now I believe that if you set up, let's say you have an AMD and an NVIDIA card, you do one minor setup for NVIDIA, and then you do one minor setup for the AMD GPU, and you follow it exactly like I said, like you bring it up, you turn one off, and then you bring up the other one and then turn off the, the opposite, then you're going to be able to dual mine whichever coin you want to independently from each card in the same system. And it should be whether it's AMD or NVIDIA or vice versa. Like it shouldn't matter if you've got an NVIDIA or AMD card in there. So like some people aren't able to have like a full AMD rig. Let's say they got like a 560 and like a 1050 Ti, but only one system. So, I mean, if you don't want to use an ice hash or like whatever, you know, normally you can't run, you know, different cards and mine at the same time on the same system. 
I believe this, however, is going to fix that solution. I could be wrong. But, anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, they're both mining. You can see, you know, I'm getting the accepted shares on each one. So, I thought it was cool. I thought I'd share the information. You know, maybe, you know, somebody can get some hype out of this. Maybe not. Who knows? But, figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And be on the lookout for more crazy videos that might come out. Maybe I'll find some something that nobody knows about yet. Until next time, guys. See ya.